If you're a woodworker and you like to make jigs, then a 3D printer like the AD5X is one of the most useful things you can have in your shop. This is a lathe that I made and the lathe is specifically for making spindles. I use 3D printing to modify it to make very precise dowels. And I'm gonna show you all the parts that I 3D printed to accomplish that. So this is the basic theory of what I'm gonna do. I've got three quarter inch square stock and I'm gonna turn it down to a five eighth inch dowel. I'm gonna use this unit right here, slide it along and this will cut the dowel. My lathe only had a half inch bolt. This is one inch. So I 3D printed a half inch to one inch adapter. I couldn't find this anywhere. This was extremely helpful. I had to clamp square stock, so I 3D printed these chuck jaw attachments that make it much easier to clamp a piece of square stock that's very small. Check these things out. They all have magnets built into them. The lathe bed is actually an aluminum extrusion. So I used the 3D printer to print a reverse of the extrusion. That way I could create a slider that slid perfectly along. This slider, this entire unit here, provides the cutting mechanism. There's a carbide cutter here which does a pre-cut and then it's fit into a very precise hole here. The final cut is made by a router bit mounted here. I have a range of adjustability on top to dial in the fit perfectly. And again, the whole thing rides along so in order to telescope through the cutting unit, so the wood was positioned in front of the first cut, I actually had to make this long tailstock, which I made out of um, some components that I had sitting around. I 3D printed the base of this to slide perfectly into the extrusion. So I could provide a perfectly registered location each time. First, I'll mount the stock. Next, the tail. Okay, now I'm gonna cut a 20 inch dowel. Surface finish is decent. With a little sanding, it'll be fantastic. Let's check the dimensions. That's exactly where I want it. With a little sanding and a little tweaking, that'll allow me to hit 5 eighths perfectly. With the help of these 3D printed components, I easily and quickly put this jig together once I had visualized it. Making jig components like this dust port, this thread adapter, or the slider for a T-Track is so helpful on a 3D printer. So once again, if you're making jigs, small machines, adapters, drilling guides at weird angles, this is the most useful machine ever invented. I'm gonna leave a link to the AD5X in the description and I hope you'll check it out. Thanks.